I'm going to show you how to sew circles. This can be one of the most challenging parts of sewing. Sewing outer circles as well as inner circles because there's two techniques on how to do them both. So that's what we're going to do in this simple video is to show you how to maneuver the fabric under the sewing machine so that you can get a nice even stitch rather than a zigzag stitch because you're having to stop and turn. Now the fabric is just a simple um, polyester um, crepe fabric. So what we're going to be doing is following a 5 8 inch seam allowance. If your sewing machine has a 5 8 seam allowance on it, then you use that gauge. If not, you can make a marking on it or you can put a piece of tape there. Anything that will help you to see your, your line. On my machine, this is my 5 8 seam allowance. So I'm going to, and I'm using a black thread so that you can see the stitches. You notice I'm turning the fabric because you want the edge of the fabric to line up with the 5 8 So now I've got the edge of the fabric lined right here with the 5 8 I'm going to back it up and put my needle down press her foot down and as I sew you can either use two hands but in my case I'm using one hand I'm taking my fingers and my arm and as I sew I'm taking my pin out I'm turning as I sew and making sure that that line always lines up with the 5 8 even though it's on a curve you're lining it up with the 5 8 Now you can see the results. By doing so, you now have one uniform line that's the same width all the way around. Even if it's not completely perfect, it's still okay. So that's the outer edge. Now I'm going to show you how we can maneuver the inner edge of the fabric. You're using the same technique. You're just on the inside. So before I, I maneuvered out that way because we were working the outer edge. Now I'm, I'm going to maneuver this way because I'm working the inner edge. So I'm going to line up my fabric with the 5 8 inch seam allowance and you're going to simply just sew and follow that line. So now you have the inner circle sewn as well as the outer circle sewn. I hope this tip has been helpful. Thank you for watching. Happy sewing!